Today I wanted to show you this. This is a junk journal that I've made for myself. I've made two actually, and I'll show you the other one in a minute. Um, these are just made from papers that I've had lying around, I've printed out and never used that sort of thing. Um, and I've just used up some papers that I've had, you know, inserts. Um, they're just lying around doing nothing and I needed some personal ones. So this one has a Japanese theme, as you could probably tell. Um, I love this image here. I printed this out a while ago and I've never used it for anything. I just love the monochrome look of it. And, you know, it's unusual to see a geisha with black. So... Um, and I've just bound them with rings um, because you know, so I might add more in. I've added some things, as you'll see. Um, and if I open it up like this, get it lined up. Yeah. Um, inside this is just other paper that I've printed out. And I've printed out a few images um, because I like images too. They inspire me a lot. So both the journals of me I'll be showing you have these images. Or lots of images anyway. Not <laughs> and these are just, you know, Japanese. This is actually an old Japanese advert for something. I can't remember. This one, I just loved this one. I was going to put this in the front cover till I remembered I had that other one. But I just love the colours and everything there. This brown paper, I've just put a flower punch along the sort of a flower lace punch along the edges there. And this is where I can write down all the things I've been learning, Japanese that I've been learning, which will be what this is for. And then just images again. Now, this is of a, it's a Japanese artist, is it Miha? Hirano, I think her name is. I'm really not sure, but I just love them. They're beautiful images, beautiful artist, or artwork, I should say. Uh, more pages, more images, and you will notice these are just a mix of traditional with uh, ones. This is actually um, an image of a Japanese pop singer, uh, Kamanashi Kazuki who's one of my daughter's favourites, and somebody's photoshopped this image to make him look like a vampire, and I just loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, and like I say, there's a shrine. Another of those artists. This artist as well is Yoshiko Amano, I think. And a lot of this artwork I recognise from Michael Moorcock for M novels. The style anyway, so I didn't realise it was a Japanese artist, so I've put lots of this artwork through as well. Because I always find artwork very inspiring. And then there's some just traditional paintings. Uh, the little images there. More artwork. I'll try and do this quickly because I do have a lot in these. And I just can't help flicking through them. Just a whole, oh, and you'll notice at the backs of these, I've printed out some, you know, Japanese. This was Japanese papers that I got off Etsy. I've never got around to using them. Now these are um, off the internet. It's just different things that I found interesting articles about Japan. I didn't want the usual, you know, all about sushi or whatever. I mean, there's a lot more to Japanese food than just sushi and teriyaki. So uh, this is um, cherry blossom, as you'll obviously know, is big in Japan. So that's the relationship with cherry blossom. Um, Japanese flowers and proverbs. And that's all, and it comes up, you know, it's got the romaji and then the kanji and all that. So that's something they can actually learn in here. Um, more of these artists. And these are Japanese fish proverbs. Which were quite interesting. I found them interesting anyway. Uh, more kind of Japanese, that's more of a Japanese 
steampunk one, I think, Koi Cart. Um, this is a Lewis Royal, he did a tarot deck. Not tell a lie, that was a lot. This one is just, I think it was Dead Moon it was called, and it's Asian inspired artwork. Uh, this is why the f Firefly is important in Japan. The Dolls Festival, which is another big thing. <laughs> so, like, see, these are all kind of random, but there's things that I found interesting, and because it's ring binding, I can add more things that I find. Uh, this is the Japanese Zodiac. More artwork. More blank pages to write on. More images. Again, more images. And these are little envelopes that I've put in that I've made myself. I just had the six by six papers um, called I Love Japan or In Love with Japan. It was that paper pack there that I just used for the envelopes. And I've got a few of those dotted through this and that's, again I can use them for adding little notes or little keepsakes that I collect. Uh, more the, the traditional paintings and that. And this one it was a, it's like a steampunk Totoro, but I just couldn't resist it. Um, if anybody's watched the Studio Ghibli films, they'll know who Totoro is. More envelopes. Sushi. I am very fond of sushi. It's kind of hard to get decent stuff where I live here in the southwest of Scotland. It's just a small place. A little image of the tea ceremony. I believe it. No, this is actually artwork from the Final Fantasy films. So obviously, um, you know, just at the beginning. Another one of these images of that same picture I showed you at the beginning. Of, there's three of the same woman in the outfit in three different poses. And this is supposed to be a Shinto maiden, but obviously it's a fantasy themed one. Uh, this is articles on Japanese ghosts, uh, origami, Yoshiko. Um, this was like a, another sort of steampunk geisha, which I really like. Uh, and these are Japanese monsters called yokai. You can tell where my interests lie mostly, can't you? Um, I even put this as a story about a Japanese ghost. I even added in. Uh, more blank pages. Images. Come on. Sticking together. More of the black sheets. And this is Halloween in Japan. And more things to learn. So I think this even has um, phrases and things like that that deal with Halloween, which I really enjoyed. So more, this is a more of a kind of a, I don't know what kind of fantasy image that is. And this is how to say Happy Halloween in Japanese. And this is more phrases for Halloween. Never mind Christmas, for me it's all about Halloween. And this is about... Uh, is it Aoki Gabara? Um, it's known as the Suicide Forest in Japan. And there's just been a movie out about it as well. Um, so that was another little interesting article. More blank pages. More images of sushi. I will be adding recipes into this as well, I've decided. I might I even put them into the little envelopes. And then there's just some painted images.
Sorry, my computer did something there. I'm not sure what it did. It stopped anyway, so I, um, I think I got to here. And we'll just turn it over and there's more of the traditional paintings. More blank sheets. I really like this picture. I don't know why. I just really love it. So, of course, it had to go in. Uh, some more shrines there. Yeah. Temple. I really love this picture as well. It's one of my favourite. Uh, more envelopes and more blank pages. I'm getting to the end, honestly. Like I said, I've packed a lot in here. There's the third image of that model. I just love that. Love that one too. And there's another of those steampunk geishas. Oh, it's stuck in there. And more envelopes. So that is my Japanese one. <laughs> if you stuck this long, congratulations. Oh, which dog? Yeah. So there we have. That is my Japanese junk journal that I will be using to write down what I'm learning and also any other interesting articles and tidbits that you find out that interest me I can put in here. The second journal I did is my this one I'm going to use for writing writing ideas, um, techniques, tips, things like that, writing prompts, everything like that anything to do with writing I'll go in here. I was going to put an actual image on the front, but I just to say, I, this was so pretty. Um, and I'm going to do, I just got a load of craft stuff. I'm going to do a whole video just in a minute. So you'll see where this has come from. Um, so we'll just get started. That, again, this was just papers I've had lying about. I did some images that I um, printed off. So let's just get started. Uh, this here, this is the front cover, but I've actually did a little tuck there. So I could put, you know, I can just put something in if I so want. Like that. In fact, I might just leave you in there. I think that was an image I got from one of my pen pals. Shalila, I think it was. Anyway, this is uh, one of my favourite books. My favourite authors is Robin Hobb. And then it's just kind of writing themed images. And like I say, lots of images in here. There's um, Brandon Sanderson, another favourite author. These are from... Oh can't remember his name. <laughs> a famous artist, I can't remember. Um, but I really love, they're all kind of weird paintings and the, the, you know there's lots of details in them and I just love them so they're all throughout, they've got lots of those in them. So I'd say for me, for my writing as well, getting ideas and things like that, it's all about um, images work really well for me, so I was just sorting those rings there. Um, this is another Lewis Royal, who's also another favourite artist. I just love that one. There's some blank, blank, black card that I've just put in there. These images, again, you'll recognise. I put them in here because I just love these pictures. And then some note paper. This is Stephanie Powell Moon Law, who did these pictures. Some paper that I got from Etsy. I think it's. Um, well, well, you can see there's some steampunk and gothic feeling Edgar Allan Poe, more of the Stephanie Poundman law. 
I love these images. They make great note paper. And some weird and wonderful ones. And this, I'll be showing you this in my haul video. I got in a paper pad. I um, really like this one. The images are just lovely. Uh, like I say, more images there. Oh, mystery. Another of those. That's just a blank card. Tell that is not a blank card. I'd punched the wrong side. Put holes in it. So it's that image. Three elements and chain six to great fantasy. Those are the sort of things I'll probably be adding in here as well. Some steampunk paper. Edgar Allan Poe, as you can see. Now that's I just love peacocks at the moment. I don't know why. Another, this is Catherine M. Blenty, the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Some steampunk typewriter notepad. One with a just uh, it's a kind of mm, cyberpunk. Would you say border to it? More note paper. More artwork. So there's a lot more blank pages in this one. You'll notice. Um, I love this uh, artwork. I follow this artist on Deviant Art actually. I just love her work. Uh, the fantasy world map, and you'll see there's like Half Blood Camp, Narnia, Middle Earth. Hogwarts, Lilliput, Wonderland, Moomin Valley. Who doesn't love the Moomins? This note paper, by the way, I got from um, Vic. Victoria Designs, I think they're called an Etsy, and they had a 60% off, so of course I bought loads of stuff because I just got paid. <laughs> More images here. I actually had to take some stuff out because I had it packed so full. Um, I just couldn't turn the pages. It was impossible. So, uh, I'll show you what I did with the leftovers. Uh, well, with the leftovers, all I did was I took some more of the rings and bound them with that. This is Snaga. And this is from a David Gemmell character called Dross, Dross the Legend, which I miss, wish they would make a film out of. And now, um, David Gemmell sadly passed away and there are now the David Gemmell Awards for writers and artists and the winner gets a little miniature copy of Snaga, Drossie's Axe. So I'm going to write that best-selling fantasy novel and win a Snaga of my very own. We all need something to aspire to, right? <laughs> This is the book I'm reading now, The Way of Kings, and it's a great big fat book of about a thousand pages. Literally a thousand pages. It's maybe a thousand and two, actually. I love these papers that I bought as well. They were off Etsy. It wasn't Victoria Designs, it was... Mm. Who was it again? Oh, I can't remember. That was vintage fantasy creatures, and I also got the vintage mermaid ones. And then I got a free gift because I, uh, I've, you know, I'd bought more than those two. I've bought others from her, so I got the. It was the peacock ones actually. That I got free. Let's 
So here we go. Uh, this is Anne McCaffrey, I should say, Dragon Soul, one of my favourite authors. More of these weird and wonderful images. This is the five essential elements of a story. Now I have written novels and self-published them. That's an envelope I made and it was papers that had imagine, creation, create, creative, imagination, all that sort of thing. So I thought that was quite good in there. And yes, I was saying, I have written novels and self-publish them on Kindle so I do know you know the basics of writing but I just thought it would be interesting pardon me to have a little book journal specifically for tips and tricks and ideas and all that sort of thing just because well just because I wanted to this is another Catherine M. Valenti book in the night garden, there's actually in the night garden and then the spice market, or something like that. Um, it's a very good, it's very, um, it's Arabian Nights with Sherazad that tells all the stories. It's like that one. Four peacocks, another little fantasy book image. I really like how this black paper's turned out and I might actually do more of that for other things because I'm easily impressed. What can I say? Hey, Anne McCaffrey, this is actually the book Dragon Flight, it's called. And this was the book that got me into fantasy in the first place when I picked it up when I was very young. And uh, that was it. <laughs> A lifelong love of fantasy. Another weird and wonderful image there. Peacock. And as you see, I haven't bothered to get in things really neat or things like that, because this is a personal one. I don't need to. And I haven't done a lot of decorating, you know, putting lace and ribbons and things like that on them, because I personally don't like that. I find they just get in the way. I enjoy doing the journals and putting them all in. Um... I love this book, it was my memories by Gaslight. Yes, I love making the journals with all that in, but as a personal journal, I don't like it. I feel it just gets in the way. I prefer having lots of images. This is another one, Echo City by Tim Levin. I really enjoyed it. It's, kind of, it's more like a horror fantasy. Kind of a weird and wonderful book, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one. This is another Pern Dragon image. I can't remember who did that one, but I just had to put it in. And more steampunk notepaper. So this is the David Gemma Legend book. Dodd and there's Snaga, the axe. Um, yeah, if you're a fantasy fan, you've never heard of David Gemma, I would highly recommend his books. I love them. He's very good at characters. We are getting to the end, people. <laughs> These little books uh, that are by Alice Hoffman, there's Green Angel and Green Witch, sir. They're very thin little hardback books I've got. And um, obviously there's the paper, I've got the little hardbacks. And uh, I, I just love them. They're great little easy reads. I can just slip it into my bag and I can sit and read it wherever they are. It doesn't take up a lot of space. More images and cards. A bit here. Horde of books. There's a dragon guarding his horde of books. It's a bit like what I am. Don't touch my books. I never lend them out to people. I'm terrible. I don't lend them out to people because I've had so many books go missing or they get damaged or people fold the corners back. Seriously, people, use a bookmark. That's what they're for. Sorry, I shall stop before I start ranting there. 
Um, so yes, I no longer lend out my books because I've lost so many. No, nah, that's a lie. I lost a few and then I wised up very quickly and going, no, you're not getting any of my books. Don't even look at them. They're mine. Excuse me, I've just come off night shift and I'm a bit tired. And then straight on to day shift tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. And there's another of those lovely images. And that one, and look, we've come to the end. You've been very patient if you've come this far. Well done. And that's, uh, like another thing, I've got a little pocket there that kind of slip things in. So thank you very much for sticking with me and watching that. Uh, there we go.